Mr. Rai Sharma, hearty congratulations on securing All India rank of. Ayush, you please introduce yourself briefly. Oh. So my name is Ayush Sharma. I did my B.Tech from uh, NIT Allahabad in Electrical Engineering in the year 2021. I am from Panna MP. Uh, I gave my first attempt of GATE in the year 2021 itself. I secured a rank of uh, 1258 in that year. Uh, after that, I was placed through college in uh, Tata Power. I decided to uh, go through uh, the corporate life. Uh, I worked there for one uh, more than a one year, and in the year 2022, I decided to uh, appear for the gate 2023. So I resigned in the uh, September month, and uh, from there, I had uh, five months uh, left for the preparation of gate. So uh, this is my journey till now. Right, very good. Uh, Aish, one uh, point that we want to know: already you were working in such a Tata for one of the good company. Uh, why, why you wanted to again go for the gate examination? Any specific reason for that? Uh, sir, I always wanted to work for PSU since my college days. Since uh, uh, PSU offers a uh, diverse roles and have a pan India presence, like Power Grid is there, which is much larger than uh, any of the power utilities company present in India, and it and it has uh, much uh, advanced technologies than any other company. So it offers a uh, a high uh, chances that uh, you will get to know around new technologies there. So I decided to uh, go for it here. Right. So what we understand is you wanted to join a better PSU, right? Yes, sir. OK. And another point, uh, Aish, uh, last time your rank was at 1,258 something, you said. And this time, r and rank of 5. There's a phenomenal change in your rank, right? You got an excellent rank of r and 5 now this time. So yes, compared to your previous preparation, this time, what changes you have made in your preparation that brought you this success with only rank of five? Sir, this time I paid uh, more attention to the question solving. And uh, in the 2020 year attempt, uh, since I was in my final year, I had to manage my studies and uh, project work also. Uh, uh, I was not able to study in the December month in 2021 at all. So I studied nothing in the month of 2021. So that uh, uh, paid an ultimate uh, consequence to my preparation in 2021. But this year, since I had designed and I was doing full-time preparation, so this was beneficial for me. Okay. Uh, Ayush, this time, uh, seriously, how many months do you have made preparation for this gate examination? The five months. Five months. Okay. So with this experience, Last time 1258 rank and this time already rank five, right? That we had some gap there. So with this experience, what session that you want to give for a young aspirant who is preparing for this gate examination, particularly in the electrical branch of engineering? Sir, I would suggest that uh, first one should start with the basic subjects like networks, signal system, control system, EMFT, digital, and then move on to the advanced subjects like machines, power system, and power electronics. So in this way, uh, he can grasp the uh, complex subjects in an easier manner. Then you should also follow with the test series after every, uh, like part tests are there and subject tests are there. And then move on when your preparation is complete and you have revised the syllabus, then you move on to the full length test series. So in this way, you can have a uh, wholesome coverage of the syllabus. Right, good. Aish, uh, what type of coaching program you have availed from our ACE Engineering Academy? Uh, I subscribe for the online test series from the ACE Academy. So my question is, how this CS Academy mock test series played a role in your success? So first of all, ACE Academy offers a large number of tests. There are past part tests, subject tests, combinational tests, and full length tests. So you can assess your preparation level in every manner possible. So whenever you have uh, prepare, uh, prepared a topic, so you can go and give the part test. Whenever you have completed a subject, you can go and uh, give the subject test. And when you have com uh, completed two, three subjects, you can give the combination set for revision. So, and uh, when you have the, covered the whole syllabus, you can go and uh, give the full length test. So, uh, ACE test uh, helps in very, uh, so that in a, you can then revise in a very efficient manner and you can know your shortcoming and you can at the same time uh, know your position as compared to your peers. So in this way, ACE Academy test series has been very helpful to me. Okay. Totally, how many tests you might have taken? Uh, sir, I might have completed around 50 tests since, since I had only five months of preparation. Uh, okay. One more, Aish. In our ACE so full-length mock tests, 
where do you used to stand in the rank uh, in the rank wise sir the first side. test the first test i uh, i gave i uh, scored around 49 marks and then i gradually t- uh, took it to uh, i think i have uh, scored around uh, 81 highest so i i have uh, gotten from uh, around 200 rank to 10th rank in, in well, means top 10 okay good uh, one more aish see in our gate examination the revision plays a crucial role is it it yes sir not Indeed. only gate exam you take any examination revision is very important parameter there yes sir so in your case how you used to carry out the revision work uh, sir i have prepared short notes uh, from my 20 20 year attempt excel and uh, whatever i have left i have made, uh, included them in the this year uh, preparation and uh, whatever new new questions that i uh, encountered in the test series i used to write in the short notes itself so during my revision though that point also got covered so in this way i could cover the whole syllabus so at what frequency you used to give the revision approximately mm-hmm. sir uh, i used to go subject wise subject like i have completed one subject then i moved to another so i have, might have covered the uh, whole syllabus around five times okay good five times right uh, on the day of a gate examination in the three hours in the gate examination hall did you follow any specific strategy otherwise you went on answering the questions as they appear on the screen uh, sir i had the strategy that i have to skip whenever i was uh, uh, struggling with the question i don't have to waste time since it is a three hour uh, exam and you have to do just better than the others there's no like you have to solve every question there's no marks in that like you you have to do better than others so i kept on uh, skipping the questions that i don't know at the right time or i'm that i'm not striking that questions so i used to skip like i used to skip uh, i have skipped the two questions from the uh, aptitude part itself because i don't want to give the time in counting the triangles if you have remember there was a triangle question so uh, this is also strategy i followed right so i uh, people are uh, students are saying that uh, this time the gate electrical paper is uh, relatively tough so for your all india rank of 5 how many marks you have secured in this Sir, gate I exam have, i have secured a 61.67 marks 61 point some 61 points on marks Yes, sir. So, what questions uh, you left over in this exam? Mm, sir, I left the questions that were lengthy in calculations, or I was not uh, uh, getting the idea of how to approach it. Like, uh, I have left the transformer questions, when, which, uh, which was a very big question to uh, read. There was a diagram. So, I thought that I was I'm not able to uh, get, grasp the concept right now. So, I skipped that. Uh, there was a power system question which uh, had a practical transmission lines. So that was very lengthy to calculate. So I skipped that question. Okay. And uh, one more, Aish. In electrical engineering, there are so many subjects, right? Yes, sir. Uh, so from your experience, you please uh, tell us, uh, which subjects are highly scoring in this gate examination? Mm, sir, I, I think... Score, you means, uh, with a relatively less amount of preparation you should be able to score more marks okay so uh, i think uh, uh, emft is very scoring since uh, i have uh, made the short notes i have uh, i have completed the short notes of emft in 10 pages so i could revise it in a day and it turned out to be most uh, most uh, uh, marks giving for me so emft is very scoring uh, networks is also very scoring Mm, analog uh, if you know if you know if you go through py2 you will get to know that only some topics are very important so if you can uh, go through those topics only you can uh, score high marks in that also uh, machines is also storing although it takes much time but it is very scoring subjects for in the gate exam power system is tricky subject uh, power electronics is a uh, is a good subject for scoring if you have done the practice well Mm-hmm. instrumentation uh, is a short is a in this, not a very long subject but uh, there is uh, not much uh, score only two to three marks is uh, coming in the exam so this was my my idea about the all the subjects okay suppose if i ask you to name two subjects which are tough to score marks in the gate examination which two subjects will you name aish yes sir got my question yes sir uh sir okay 
I think I have internet to you know. Okay, I repeat the question. I repeat the question. Yes, sir. See, if I ask you to name two subjects which are relatively tough in the gate examination to score marks, which two subjects will you name? Sir, I found power system to be tricky and digital and digital electronics to be tough for me. Although it can be easier for another students, I found uh, digital electronics on the tough side. Of course, it is all uh, student specific, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, very good, uh, Mr. Ayush. You have shared very valuable points for the aspirants of the gate examination in general and electrical students in particular. And apart from this, would you like to share any other tips to these juniors who are preparing for the electrical gate examination? Uh, I would like to say that uh, students who are in their college can also go through the standard books as you have time because uh, the self-learning is very much greater than what you do in the short time. So that will create a long-term concepts for you. Okay. Uh, would you like to uh, suggest any uh, other name for these uh, test books, which are helpful? Sir, uh, there is a PS Bimra book for electrical machines, uh, PS uh, Nagratan Kotari for power systems, and uh, for the basics, you can go through Alexander Sadiku for network theory. Right. Okay, Aish. So your your main priority is uh, joining PSU with this earlier rank five, isn't it? Yes, sir. After joining PSU, do you have any idea of preparing for other uh, engineering service examination or something like that? That's what normally people do. Mm, sir, right now I have not thought about it, but I will give it. Right. Okay. Okay. Once again, congratulations, Mr. Ayush Sharma, for securing this uh, Alien Rank 5 in the Gate 2023 electrical branch. Uh, I convey our wishes to your parents and other friends also, right? Yeah. I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank God you, bless you, Ayush. God bless you. Thank you, sir.